Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and I'm back with another episode on the TazCraft server. It is episode 9, and today I have some very interesting news that I'm really excited to tell you guys. Uh, so please stick around, uh, but let's roll the intro and get on with today's video. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I, I totally get that, you know, some of you guys don't like server news, uh, but it's kind of, it's kind of interesting, so please uh, just listen. Basically, um, Tazcraft was going to, like, just stop. Uh, Tazman uh, was getting really busy in his life, it, the server wasn't too terribly active, it's mostly just me and the hackster, um, and I wasn't even playing that much due to some farm videos that I'm working on, just, just saying. Um, but uh, I actually came along with my sponsor, Sticky Pistons, and I bas Sticky Pistons basically agreed to let us um, use the server and have it for free. So the server is now being run by Sticky Pistons, um, and I know that doesn't sound that interesting. But here's the thing: now I'm in, I'm, I'm like in charge of Tazcraft, which means that I make up the rules. Now, I, it's nothing, like, too interesting, you know, so what I can do, like, something here and there, but I'm going to allow applications uh, for non-YouTubers to join the server, uh, so my viewers, Hackster's viewers, anyone's viewers can come on, send out an application, and possibly join the server, so if you're interested in that, then uh, go down to the description below and join the Discord server and submit an application. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited and I'm hoping that, you know, a lot of people will start to join. It'll be very fun. Uh, but let's actually get on to playing Minecraft now. <laughs> now, non-server things that have happened. Uh, basically, my beacon is officially complete. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I showed this off last time. Basically, I just AFK'd over at my sugarcane farm. That's very small. <laughs> Um, and I actually got this guy down to one emerald trade, so it was incredibly easy to get it all set up. And now I'm slowly but surely uh, replacing uh, the iron blocks in it with uh, emerald blocks. Um, and then I'm, I'm going to keep that design that you saw though with like the diamonds on top, uh, iron, gold, and then at the very bottom, emerald. Uh, I, I really like it. It looks cool, and I finally have uh, haste too, so should probably put that on instead of jump boost. Second thing that I do have to mention is if we go over here to my efficiency 4 guy, um, yeah, he's gone. Don't know how, he's just gone. Uh, so yeah, that kind of sucks, but it's alright. Um, so what I want to do today, as I already said, I want to make a farm, and that is a sugarcane farm because who doesn't love sugarcane when you have a one emerald trade for paper, for one piece of paper. Um, so we're going to do that, that, but what I want to do right now is actually uh, do a quick mining session. I'll take my beacon and just do like probably a large chunk in the ground. <laughs> um, and yeah, just see if I get anything good. For this time lapse chat, I just wanted to talk a little bit about why I've been so bad at posting. Uh, and that is just because I have been ill for a long time. Uh, so basically what happened is I do musical theater. Some of you might know that. I'm not going to tell you what theater or else you might be able to find me, you know, be safe on the internet, kids. Anyways, uh, but I do do musical theater. And, like, there's these people that push sets backstage, like, things that are, like, on stage, like, stairs and whatnot. It's, it's fun. It's fun. Anyways, so I do that. I, like, push stuff. <laughs> That does not sound fun at all, but it's actually a surprisingly fun time. Anyways, um, so I was doing that, and I was really busy. It was, like, almost every day from 3.30 to 10, uh, and then shows started up, and that was more stuff. Uh, and then throughout that, I was sick, uh, so that was not fun for, like, about two weeks-ish, I think, about that. But anyways, yeah, so... That's why I've been so bad at, um, at posting lately, guys. I'm so sorry. I try to do a few streams, like, in there, but it's just, it's not the same, and I get that. Um, also, it was a lot of errors, uh, not errors, just, like, a lot of confusion on, you know, setting up the server, because I had talked to my sponsor, talked to Taz, make sure it was shutting down and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to see where Taz crap goes. Hopefully, people will try to join the server. If not, then... 
I'll just put it into a single player world and it'll be basically the same as it is now. So, uh, yeah, but that's, yeah, that's basically it. So let's get on with the video. So that went pretty good. I had to stop halfway through due to, um, some errors. Um, basically when, um, the server was being transferred to, uh, the new server hoster, uh, the nether and end were back to, um, how they were, like, they were fresh instead of how it was before. Um, so basically, I had to wait until that was fixed because I couldn't go and repair my pick pickaxes. Uh, but in the end, we got a lot of stuff. <laughs> Quite a lot of stuff. So I'm going to take this immediately and load it up into our big super smelter because that's only the real thing that uses coal um, that I, I can think of. And it uses... Oh, it uses a lot of it, so I'm uh, gonna fill it all up really fast. And of course, I have been uh, slowly replacing my beacon. Uh, my beacon, I actually moved it because, you know, I went mining, um, as you can tell. And now over here, oh, I did not realize how close it was to the drown heads. Uh, but anyways, um, but I've been slowly replacing each iron block with an emerald block. And if we go check in our chest, tons and tons of iron. So, uh, we're gonna build, uh, the sugarcane farm a little bit farther away. We're making a zero tick sugarcane farm because it's super fast and Illman goes literally a genius. Uh, and we're gonna build it right here because we can't have those entities, like, loaded. Uh, those are the villagers, by the way. Because then their trades are gonna go up after I haven't traded with them for a good amount of time. Uh, but I'm gonna actually find this place out a little bit. Um, just make it a little bit nice, even though it's not really necessary at all. I just... I like my things to be nice. <laughs> and of course I say that with not not the nicest things in the world. <laughs> and also the sugarcane farm isn't 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 really pretty, but I mean, hey, I I do like functional like super fast farms, so <laughs> uh, let's actually get started. So according to the video, I it doesn't actually require that much. It's quite simple and very powerful. I just need to get some sticky pistons, some regular pick pistons, I believe, uh, quite a few blocks, stuff like that. Not that much, so let's get a shulker filled up with everything we need. Also, heads up, my next door neighbors have, like, kids, and they're yelling and, like, playing outside. Great for them, you know, I, I, I should be as active as them, even though I'm over here recording a Minecraft video. Uh, but the point is, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, if you hear something, like, weird thing going on in the background, especially a few clips ago, uh, that's why. So I just got my redstone box and filled it up with some things, uh, that aren't specifically redstone, like, uh, water bucket and whatnot. Those will, of course, be removed soon. Uh, but yeah, so now I think we have everything that we need. Um, and yeah, let's, let's just watch the little mango video. So, link it in the description, probably, if I remember. Uh, if you guys want to go build this for yourself, I highly suggest you at least check out little mango. Uh, literally the smartest youtuber i know that does minecraft he is crazy uh so yeah let's get started welp is finished but i think i think this may have been fixed in us and yeah either i'm in the wrong type of world because i know that my world is kind of changed around a little bit um yeah or or it's been fixed so Looks like we're going the old-fashioned way. So I don't know if you can hear me. Let me turn down my volume. Okay, actually, it stops once I hit the... Uh, but let me turn down my volume. So basically, um, it works in a regular vanilla world. So heads up if anyone's watching this and like is like, Oh my gosh, I want to build one, but then, oh my gosh, it's not working. Basically, what's happening is um, the server I play on, it's actually t technically not vanilla. I forget what it's, it's actually called. I can look it up. Uh, it's called Paper uh, Spigot. I, I don't know. Uh, 1.14. It's just slightly different. I didn't think that it would make any difference at all. Um, and that's just how the TazCraft server was before. Uh, but apparently it stops zero tick farms from working. So I don't know if I can possibly... I, I don't know what to do. Um, but yeah, that's super, super depressing. <laughs> So I, I'll try to figure it out. Give me, give me a little bit of time. So I ended up talking to Sticky Piston about like transferring the server into a regular Minecraft vanilla server so that Stereotic Arms will now work, and they did it. It was 
it was really easy. I'm sorry, this is probably really loud, and you guys probably can't hear me. Um, but yeah, now it works, so if we just turn it on for a second, you can see that the sugar cane was just blown out, and now we have another piece of sugar cane. So this is awesome. I've already sat here for like two hours, basically, um, and got tons and tons of emeralds from our villager, which then I used for the beacon, which has been moved, because I did... I don't think the time last recorded, but I did a mining session, um, and yeah, so the beacon's now here, and I just took a lot of the gold and iron and replaced it with emeralds. I was gonna do that whole fancy iron thing, and I, and like, not iron just specifically, but like, where it goes up in levels of rarity, so like diamonds at the top. I was gonna do that, but I decided against it because there's no real point, and I need those materials. And it wouldn't have been that bad because I could just fill like the middle with emeralds, but I decided against it. Uh, so, anyways, I was recording about working on my base, and yeah, I never opened OBS. So, um, I've been actually working really hard on the base, and if we fly over in this direction, uh, I've actually done half the dome, which is amazing. <laughs> uh, so it's gonna be a full uh, circle at one point sphere. Uh, but right now, yeah, this is what we have. And you'll see that I actually added these gravel things. And that's because I'm working on filling all of this in um, with air. So that means, you know, blocking it off and getting sponges, which I already have. And then, yeah, trying to get all the water, water out of here, which I'm actually kind of nervous about getting started. But yeah, uh, so that's what you see here is a full shulker box of gravel. Um... It's not as much as I was hoping for, but it's okay. So I've gotten another box of gravel. So let's get started. <laughs> uh, I'll, I would do a third person time lapse, but those are just very difficult. So I think I'm just going to start working and I'll update you guys in a little bit. Well, that took forever. Like, that was so long. Oh my gosh, I never want to do that again because I also had to gather the materials and putting it all. Ugh, it's just takes so much time but we finally have all the gravel in place so we can take a sponge or multiple sponges and start on clearing out water I, I guess I wasn't planning to do this in this episode at all so I'm like kind of nervous but hey you, you, sometimes you just you gotta do stuff <laughs> so yeah I guess let's start clearing out water Actually, I'm, I'm probably going to go to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning and start clearing out this water then. <laughs> well, it's actually two days later in the morning, um, and I have school, but I decided to come along to the biggest room there is and just see what would happen if we place one sponge. That's actually really good. It just takes a while to break the sponge, but, you know, we can deal with that. So this should be actually really easy <laughs> now that I'm looking at it so that's very exciting all right well this too took a very long time but um, I'm not done yet but I did get uh, two of the rooms so this was two rooms um, that I, I cut down the middle wall between them this is like the biggest room of uh, it all so I'm happy that I got this done but man it takes a very long time uh, I only have 30 sponges so yeah <laughs> um, but I'm really happy. It's looking really good so far. So the plan is to basically finish up all the other rooms. Um, and then also, if you come over here, you can see like some water and whatnot. This goes into like underwater caves. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue the glass um, down. And then also anything that's ground, we're just going to keep. So basically, we're also going to dig down. It's confusing. It's going to be like a big full sphere, though. And then we're only going to use half of it, I believe. But, I mean, we, we need to make it look good for looks. So, um, yeah, I believe that the floor is going to be glass with, like, a big pit underneath. And it should be really cool, and I'm very excited. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to continue on this. I really, really don't like this project. <laughs> it's taking such a long time. We got another room done. Uh, which is great. When I say we, of course, I just mean I. Just say we for no reason. Uh, I did also hook up another portal, though, and that connects to a good portal 
in like the nether i set up another one in the nether so it doesn't link to any random portal like mine or the shopping district um huh, but it took me like half an hour ish just to get one room done four blocks wide uh i don't want to do that side what if we just get half of it done and just leave it you know <laughs> just leave it <laughs> I wish, but yeah, I'll, I'll get this half done first, and then we'll go get the other half. <sighs> well, space mission podcast, here I come. It takes forever, but it's looking really cool now that it's larger. <laughs> I'm so excited to show this to my brother when it's done, because, like, he made, he made his own little underwater house, and, like, it was only his, I'd say, tw 20th Minecraft house. Um, yeah, here, let me go show it to you guys. So, okay, that's two creepers. This is not, uh, the Taskcraft server. This is me and my brother's little server. Oh, I don't want these guys to explode. Um, we've barely played on it. I haven't even, like, really found diamonds or anything. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh dang it. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know why I got so off subject, um, but I guess I'll just show you guys the house now. Um, so yeah, that, that's his house. It's not as bad, but like, I'm just excited to show him mine, you know, cause like, he's, he's my little brother, so I wanna be cool, you know, I wanna be like, yeah, check out my little house. Um, anyway, so back to the Tazcraft server. Okay, well, I'm, uh, I, I don't like doing this at all, um, really is not fun at all. And I don't have many sponges, I have like 30. Uh, but, got half of it done. And it's looking actually kind of incredible. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. One second, let me go grab my brother. Ready, Aston? Ready? Yep. Ready? Look, yep. look. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's like a dome. Yeah, it is. Circles. Yeah, circles. Circles are really hard. They are actually somewhat difficult. I had a program, but yeah. Feeds you a little, that's really little sucks. thing. You can really even tell that it's water all the way up there. Well, yeah, I like it though. It's awesome. So well, bam. Yeah, that's really. This video is gonna be so late. I it's already so late, but after hours and hours of work, and I mean hours, guys. It took me so long to get all the gravel to pull up all the walls up. It took me so long to put the walls up to get the sponges to do the sponges clear out all the water it was so so hard and i'm kind of dead inside but it's done <laughs> it's done and it's somewhat flat you guys are probably like tnt and this is not flat at all what the heck are you talking about it's when i say flat i mean like it doesn't it's not higher than this and that's important because this is not gonna have a whole new dome underneath it. Nope, I've crossed the idea out because I realize I'm being ridiculous. Uh, instead, we're gonna have just grass on the bottom, water flowing out is gonna be amazing. And remember the reference photo? I don't know if you do. Uh, that's made by someone named Kenzie, and they're awesome. They're actually like a friend of mine I in real life. Uh, they said that they might be able to come on the server and help me out. So, I'm ecstatic. Is that a word? That's a word, right? Yeah, let's just say it's a word. Uh, anyways, um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, here's the thing, though. Should I go get dirt and do it this episode, or should I finally stop this episode and post it? Let's get dirt. Let's go. And there we go. <laughs> it's all done. And it's looking pretty amazing if I say so myself um and yeah I also moved another portal it's looking much nicer now in my opinion instead of you know being in the middle or not uh but yeah that that's it so hope you guys enjoyed this video uh it was really really fun to make it took forever but it was still it was still an enjoyable time um and yeah I'm really really excited to start decorating this place it's gonna be amazing I have like this big chandelier planned and like it's it's gonna just be beautiful guys trust me i think it's already starting to look beautiful just picked up all the cobble dang it um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video if you want to see what the finished project looks like then you have to stick around because it's probably gonna take a few more episodes um but yeah so make sure to hit that subscribe button um whatnot but before i go um 
Yeah, sponsor Sticky Pistons, guys. They're running the server. They're running it. I'm just gonna say that before I, I roll the next clip. <laughs> Sticky Piston is the Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price. Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server. Um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out. And I highly suggest you should because I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out. Anyways, bye. <coughs> oh my gosh, my